Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny abney Civi, and today we're going to talk about adjusting the pattern controllers in linear diffusers. So let's start by looking at the ML diffuser. It looks something like this from the side. You have the frame of the ML on the outside, and the inside we have a clamshell pattern controllers that are kind of held in by these pivot points. The ML ships with the pattern controllers together like this. So let's look at the airflow pattern that this is going to give us. The air is going to come around both sides like this and go straight down. Sadly, I would guess that many people don't adjust the pattern controllers from the way they ship from the factory. So now let's look at how they should be set. So let's move this over a little bit. So in my case, we weren't on a perimeter, so we're looking at a cooling application and it was pointed probably in the factory default straight down at me. So what you really want is for the air to be directed across the ceiling so it can kind of roll the room and mix into the space without dumping on people. So how would you do that with the ML? Back in the throw podcast and later in the ceiling dependent and ceiling independent podcast, we discussed the coanda effect and how it helps to hold air to the ceiling. So let's draw our ML again. So now if you look at the pattern controllers, you kind of want something like this, where one is all the way up against the side and the other one is pulled down to the center. What happens here is you're dampering one side. It's completely closed, so the air can't get by. And as the air comes out, you've got this low pressure zone right here next to the ceiling. And the air is going to come out and go and hold onto the ceiling and blow, in this case, to the left. By adjusting this pattern controller on the right, you can dampen how much air comes through the diffuser. So that's kind of how the ML pattern controllers work. Now let's look at some other linear diffusers. We'll start with the flow bar high throw diffuser. So the flow bar looks something like this. Again, you have the frame on the outside, and it's got this little dumbbell-shaped bar on the inside. So what happens here is you can slide this back and forth to adjust the airflow pattern of the diffuser. So if you have it pushed all the way to the left like this, you create a little low pressure zone kind of in here, which pulls the air over and holds it to the ceiling, in this case, on the left. Now if you take the pattern controller and move it to the center of the flow bar, now you'll have air come down on both sides, and that's how you get a down blow diffuser out of the flow bar high throw. Now there's another type of flow bar called the flow bar jet throw. It has a different pattern controller in it, and it looks something like this. So it has two pattern controllers that kind of pivot back and forth on the inside of the flow bar frame. So if they're pointed straight down, the air is just going to come in and go down. Now let's look at how we change the pattern. If you angle the blades, say, to the right like this, you'll get an airflow that comes down and is angled towards the right. It won't quite hold to the ceiling like it will in the high throw where you create the low pressure zone, but you do get to get some directionality out of it. So now let's look at the TBD plenum slot diffusers. We make three types of TBDs, the TBD-10, the TBD-30, and the TBD-80. They all have different pattern controllers. The TBD-30 has the same pattern controller as the ML, so setting it's exactly the same. The TBD-10 pattern controller looks something like this. So in this case, you can take the pattern controller and move it from the right side or, the, or to the left side so that you can make it blow in either direction, but when it's set on the right side like this, you get the low, low pressure zone here, and the air holds to the ceiling and moves to the right. In the TBD-80, the pattern controllers are a, a kind of a flat blade with a gasket on it, so this little ends the gasket. So if it's set like this, the air's just going to come through and go straight down. Now if you take it and angle it to one side or the other, now you're going to create that low pressure zone, and the air is going to come in and hold to the ceiling like this. So hopefully now you can see where the low pressure area will be on a diffuser, and then you can tell where the airflow is going to go. So you don't just have to leave the pattern controllers where they're set from the factory. You can adjust them to match your application. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the time out with us.